Hi everybody, it's Michelle and Christy here, and um, we've got a lot to tell you today, okay? We went to the beach earlier, and then we were hungry and thirsty, so we, we just decided to pop in any place. And so we went to this place, Cafe 11, right? Cafe 11. And it wasn't Cafe 9 or 13 or 12, Cafe 11. Cafe 11. We were almost the only people there. St. Augustine Beach. Exactly. And so we we're ordering stuff to eat. And Chrissy got a salad with tuna and walnuts and Yeah, it was delicious. And apples, and apples really good. Really good. And um and I got this portobello mushroom thingy and I ordered this I thought tea. I was getting regular tea, okay? First of all, I thought I was only getting some mango and something else flavored tea. Mind you, the board said something about bubble. I didn't pay attention. Boba. Chrissy didn't tell me about it either. Well, I didn't <laughs> see it on the board. So I, I didn't see Boba. I saw wine. Exactly. She got I got wine. wine. So she and, saw tea. She got tea. Oh, yeah. I didn't realize it so was we Boba tea. tea. But that aside, so like we get this thing ordered and we took our drinks out and then they had to bring our food out to us. So. I'm looking at this tea and it looks like this smoothie. It's like this mango smoothie. She's like, ooh, this is really nice. This is not what I thought I was getting. I saw the bubbles and I was like, okay, great. <laughs> she got boba tea. Okay, I've had boba tea. And you know what? I'm not. not. My, okay. But I just figured I'd let her have her own experience. So she, she didn't tell me, but she did do some little check things along the way. <laughs> And um, how's your tea? Yeah, and and you know, at first I thought it was like kind of good. Tea and then it, it had this very fat straw, and it had this. <laughs> oh, Stugatti! We can't make this up, okay? <laughs> These little balls in the straw, <laughs> and and it was I don't know. It was, at first I thought okay, maybe it's okay, but then after a while it wasn't okay. okay? <laughs> it, it was like. Snot <laughs> in my tea, and my tea was like a smoothie. <laughs> and it's like, so we were starting to make some jokes about it, but I was like, honest to God, like, I'd never heard of this. <laughs> it's like, where have you been? Yes, exactly. <laughs> so we finished eating, the food was pretty good. I drank the tea begrudgingly without the balls in the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Left them all in the bottom if I Get could. Get to the bottom of this uh, tea. Anyway, these look like these black balls in the bottom of the tea. How can anybody find that attractive or delicious? Honestly. Okay? Crazy, crazy, crazy. So we come home. We take a shower. Christy's talking to her son. How old is Gavin? 20. 19. 19, 20, okay? So does Gavin know what this bubble tea is? Of course. I'm like, where the fuck have I been? <laughs> How can I not know? Under a rock. I thought I was a little bit enlightened, but obviously I've been under the biggest rock of all. <laughs> so anyway, we had to look it up. So we're talking about. Wait. <laughs> hold on. You you gotta you gotta believe this here because it's exactly what I was thinking. It's on delish.com. What is boba tea? So I'm reading this to Christine. We're like hysterical. It says boba tea is super popular. She said it was. <laughs> I didn't really have, but fucking guess it is. Excuse all my foul language, anyway. And then it's like, seriously? And I'm like, and I said, seriously? And it says it right here. Seriously. Seriously. Like, it's popular. I mean, how can that even be? Snapballs. Exactly. And she's saying things like, um, I don't like balls. And I'm like, oh, I never thought I'd hear that out of oh your my mouth. God, exactly. <laughs> and you know what? And there's this woman bus behind us in the restaurant. And I'm like, I am not having balls again. And she looked <laughs> I mean, you should have seen her face. Honestly, Christy was not facing her, but I was. And she was so shocked. Like, what is she talking about? She must have thought I was seriously from Planet Claire. So we're both busting out laughing then. So after being horrified that Gavin knew, and that everybody apparently else knew, I have no clue. Listen, I knew in the 90s when it first came out, and exactly. I tried it, and never tried it again, because yeah. it grows. Because she don't like balls, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Not my tea. Ew. 
No, it's like skanky, nasty, okay? Totally nasty. Do not drink it, it's gross. Okay, so anyway, we're gonna learn what it really is. It says, there are four bubble tea places within five mile radius, okay? That's inconsequential evidence we need there. So let's just go a little further. Um, it says, but many people don't like the chewy bubbles at the bottom of their drinks. No shit, I didn't like it either, okay? Ugh. Um, it says, don't worry though, you're about to find out. So let's find out. It is, boba is technically tapioca pearls, but also refers to the boba tea drink, which is no doubt what I had today, to the chagrin of my good friend Christy here. And this is Augie. He's just here for, you know, aesthetics. Life. Exactly. He's so handsome. Anyway, and it says um, that it's tea and milk. And in the East Coast, they call it bubble tea. And on the West Coast, they call it boba tea. Okay. Anyway, she knows both ways. Christy is obviously enlightened. I, on the other hand, at 99 years old, am not. <laughs> So tapioca pearls are made from tapioca or cassava starch. So it's a gluten-free, which is a good thing for her actually, but I don't think she'll be drinking it anytime soon. <laughs> and they're formed in the small spheres. Who ever thought this up has a bubble for a brain, okay? <laughs> anyway, they're simmered in a sugary syrup. Have you guys had them? I mean, seriously. How many of you have had this? I, I, I swear, at 99 years, it's the first time I've ever had one. <laughs> okay. And I was not a good friend, and I did not warn her, but I wanted her to have an experience. An, an experience I thought, you know, I'm not going to put my bias on her. I thought she, I, maybe she'll like, because I know a lot of people that love boba and bubble tea. I do not. So I thought, well, maybe she will like it, but I'm I'm not gonna burst her bubble. Bubble! <laughs> <laughs> yes, no doubt we're not bursting my bubble. Because I've got boba obviously for a brain. <laughs> so anyway, the moral of this story is unless you like sucking snow <laughs> through a straw, <laughs> do not try this bubble boba tea. It's I mean, the flavor was so good. That the balls in there, forget about it. it ruined. I mean, it ruined everything for me. <laughs> so, and she likes balls. And generally speaking, I like balls. <laughs> so, until our next episode, I hope you've enjoyed learning about the bubble boba tea and what a bubble bonehead I must be. I mean, what century? I mean, seriously, that I don't have any clue about this? Come on. <laughs> Christy, thank you for enlightening me. Oh, Michelle, you're the best. I love you. <laughs> love you too, girl. <laughs>